the keys to effective collaboration, I think the biggest word I would use is humility. Um, and collaboration is one of these words that we all know, it's like communication, right? It's like, of course it's important to communicate, but man, it can be hard to communicate effectively. And I think I put the word collaboration in that, in that same camp. Um, but I, I, I would hope that people remember that the reason you collaborate is because you need something that the other person has. And so to enter that collaboration with humility. You know, I've had to check myself sometimes where I think I'm collaborating, but secretly maybe I think I have a better answer than the person I'm trying to collaborate with. That never leads to, um, to the successful outcome. And my most successful collaborations have been when I've walked in with this sense of humility. And I channel this quote from um, a, a Sufi poet named Rumi, which is, sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment. So that, that phase of kind of like the learner's mind, the beginner's mind, helps me in collaboration and just understanding I need what that person or that team can bring. That's actually why I'm collaborating. Um, so humility is first and foremost. It sets the right tone. It sets a tone of listening um, before you speak. Um, and then I think also a successful collaboration more practically is what, what do you want to get out of it? How do you shape the conversations and shape the time so that you guys are both getting something um, rich from the collaboration? Um, so that's kind of you know my biggest my biggest point. And listening is a big part of humility and trying to understand um, you know the way that the people that you're collaborating with think. Right? They may be approaching it differently from you. So a you can learn um, from their approach, but b you also have to be able to speak into how they listen if that makes any sense at all. Because you know usually a really successful collaboration can come from two very different sides of um, of the business world. Um, and so it can be hard to build those bridges, um, but that's kind of, I would say, humility, listening, and really understanding what are you trying to get out of it? Um, what skills are you really hoping to get from the group that you're collaborating with? What do you lack and that they have? And then what do they lack that you have? And make sure that you bring that as well.